We are going to go through the technical features on the Ronin Lift. Uh, the Ronin Lift was designed as a personal rope ascender that can be deployed for both commercial and recreational use. The safe working load of the device is 400 pounds and weighs under 25 pounds with the battery pack. The Ronin Lift is extremely durable for outdoor use with the main housing and internal components made of stainless steel and aluminum. Um, there are two anchor points on the device. One is located on the top and the other is located on the bottom. The bottom anchor point is your primary anchor point for attaching into. Uh, moving down, you will see the positive braking system. Uh, the braking system in the Ronin lift is always on and this handle will be used to release the brake so you can descend from the system. This feature will be covered in detail in the descending portion of the instructions. Below the brake, you will find the tensioning knob. The tensioning knob is primarily used when loading rope and for your ascending. This will also be covered in loading rope and ascending instructions. Moving back, you will see the variable speed thumb wheel. The thumb wheel is used to control your ascent speed. By depressing the thumb wheel down, you will control your speed up between 0.5 feet and 1.75 feet per second. When you release the thumb wheel, it will spring back to the neutral off position and your ascent will stop. Moving to the right, you will see the battery indicator. This indicator will give us a real-time indication of battery power. A fully charged battery will start in the green tick marks, and when you get to about 25% of power, it changes to orange. When battery is about depleted, it'll flash between orange and red. Now moving to the lithium-ion detachable battery. Um, the battery has a spring-loaded retention mechanism for holding the battery in place and can also be switched out mid-line. There's an attachment point that is not load rated. The attachment point is only rated for the battery weight itself and it is used to be able to hold extra batteries onto your harness for switching out mid-line if your battery is depleted. On the bottom of the battery, you have your uh, recharging port for charging the battery and the battery can be charged using VAC 100 to 240. 